Stuart Hall said he had very few things left to cross off on his list before the end of his career. He can now cross one of them off, as he will finally get his rematch with Bantamweight title holder Lee Haskins later this year. The fight went to a purse bid, with Hall's promoter Eddie Hearn coming out on top by a landslide with a bid of just over $200,000. Tom Brown made the closest offer at $85,000. This means that Haskins will receive just over $150,000, while Hall will take home just over $50,000. The bigger prize, however, might be the platform itself. Hearn says he plans on either pairing the clash with the forthcoming Gennady Golovkin-Chris Eubank matchup, or with Kell Brook's welterweight title defense against Jesse Vargas. It is undoubtedly the right fight at the right time, whether it is mandated by a sanctioning body or not. United Kingdom also boasts domestic talents in the same division, such as Jamie McDonnell and Ryan Burnett. It's a picture that needs to be cleared up, and no matter which way it is, it will be exciting and profitable. Haskins and Hall first met back in 2012, with the vacant European title on the line. Though Haskins got the victory that night, one can make the argument that both are different and improved fighters today. Haskins has proven himself world-class against solid competition, most recently against Yvonne Morales. Hall, meanwhile, has continued to learn on the job after a late start to boxing, and has picked up a world title as well. The question heading into the rematch would be whether Hall is in a position where he is indeed still learning or improving, or if at 35 years of age, he has done all he can with the tools he has. Regardless, the one tool we know he has even at this stage in his career, is the ability to make wildly entertaining fights, and a second meeting with Haskins would have those very same expectations.